Just remember, if you make me look bad, I know exactly where you sleep. Literally not going to do that. <laughs> Imagine. Oh, now I'm going to put that in. Yeah. <laughs> now I have to put that in. My name is Ray LaVenture. I'm a senior this year. I would describe it first as colorful. Um, very colorful. Color is everything to me. And I would describe it secondly as abstract. I don't work figuratively a lot. A lot of... Uh, Really fascinated with pattern and repetition. I kind of float between mediums. It honestly depends on depends on the project and how I feel like I can best communicate the idea. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes it's painting. I started out painting. I kind of always come back to it, but I've definitely been getting more into printmaking. Um, I do some ceramics photo and uh and some more kind of like digital new media can be helpful sometimes um but i'd say largely traditional mostly studio stuff and kind of a mix between like painting and printmaking and fiber interdisciplinary i like to think of myself as as uh really driven like, I, I like to think of myself as someone who's in the studio a lot, working a lot. It's like, you know, kind of what we're here for. And um, yeah, playful, uh, improvisational, into experimentation, and um, yeah, hard worker. So I've worked with Ray for about two years, and Ray is just so curious, so hardworking, and so fun to work with. So um, we've worked together in photography, uh, in digital imaging course, we've done an independent study on zines and uh, Ray's enthusiasm is just really infectious and he's just such a sweet, warm person who will help anyone. And so I feel like Ray's always been a kind of uh, kind of like a central figure amongst all the, the BFAs. I mean, everybody uh, is in close contact with, with him, partially because he's like always around and always working. It's like the only time I feel right. Like it's the only time I feel 100% like centered in myself and in my brain. Like I feel like all the noise stops and I'm focused on what I'm doing. I'm focused on the work I'm making with my hands. A lot of times I listen to like a podcast or some little music. Um, but yeah, it just feels right. Like it just feels right. I feel like I'm doing what I'm meant to be doing. And I can feel it like if I go a little while without making something or without being in the studio, like it doesn't feel right. I need to be making stuff. I'm working on some larger scale paintings and also on some prints. Um, very much focused on color and pattern. They're these kind of uh, concentric patterns that look a little bit like rugs or portals, kind of these like systems of starting with an outline and going out and out from that um, and kind of like abstraction within a structure, within a grid. Um, the process has been good. I think the main thing about this semester has been time. Like spring semester always goes by really fast. And um, and the senior exhibition is actually April 12th. It's like, it's, you know, early, mid April. So all of our stress and deadlines as like senior art majors is like pushed back. So like none of us are worried about May. We're all worried about like, Honestly, our crunch time is between now and like April 1st. Like that's when a lot needs to happen. Um, so it's mostly, I mean, it's like, it's big about time management, especially with me. I'm working on kind of a more ambitious uh, installation that includes these large paintings and also prints. Um, and also there's kind of like, there's some clothing design involved. There's like, it's very intense and it involves making a large quantity of work. Um, so it's mostly about managing my time and making sure that I'm in here a lot and kind of moving at the speed I need to move to make it all come together.
one individual screen print doesn't take too, too long to actually make. Like the, the process of making it is much shorter than completing a big painting like this. I mean, this one isn't really even done. Uh, it takes a lot. I mean, it's, you can't see the whole thing in this shot, but it's like a six by six foot painting. And so there's just a lot of surface to think about and cover. Um, Cause at least for me, like when I'm making something, even if it's a large scale, I want every inch of that surface to be considered and all of those choices to be intentional. So the paintings are definitely longer. Um, I would say if we're thinking about tedium, the printmaking can get a little laborious only because I'm making like 80 identical prints. So you know what it's gonna look like. A lot of times when I'm working on a painting, what's fueling me is curiosity a little bit. Like I have a vision in my mind and I wanna know what it's gonna look like when it's real. And so the prints, I know what they're gonna look like and it's just about making them and doing them and pumping them out. Uh, right now I am mixing up some orange ink because that's the color of the first screen of one of the prints I'm making. So I'm gonna start some new prints today, but first I need the right shade of orange. So we just use these real fancy plastic spoons, scoop ink out of the bucket into some pea jars. And uh, technically they're called specimen containers. This goes by relatively quickly, but what's important to remember is that this is only the first screen. So yeah. this particular print that I'm working on has four different colors in it, which means that there are four different screens. So this is just the first layer. So everything you see me doing here, I have to do essentially again, three more times on these exact prints. You can catch me in the group exhibition for the senior uh, art and design show, which is gonna be on April 12th. The opening is from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. So you guys can mosey in and then uh, it'll be up in the gallery for another couple weeks after that want to go in and mosey when it's not crowded. I'm also on Instagram at Ray Lav Art, Ray underscore Lav underscore Art. Um, and I'm around on campus. <laughs> You're strutting your stuff. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm out here in my, my paint clothes, my nasty sweatpants. <laughs> okay, well, uh, thank you. Thank you for doing this little interview. Um, thank you. And can't wait to see your work. Sweet. Thank you.